Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Move Tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, Move Tool help you to position selected content or a layer when customizing your work. The Move Tool allows you to move a selection or an entire layer by dragging it with your mouse or using your keyboard arrow keys. The Move Tool is located at the top right of the Photoshop toolbox over here. If you just move your mouse pointer over here, you can see a Move Tool and for Enable, you can use a shortcut V from your keyboard. Now, Move Tool is powerful tool in Adobe Photoshop that support a many functions that are mostly focused on providing Move, Alignment, Transform options. Move tool is mostly used for moving the content layer, changing the layer position in the layers and also used for the transform properties, reshape or resize the object and much more. So guys, in this video we are showing how the move tool is working and different different properties of move tool. So friends, move tool is located here in the toolbar. Okay, just select this move tool and select any layer from the layer panel and you can move this layer or else you can also use your keyboard arrow key to move this layer you can use shift button to move a faster okay from keyboard you can use a shift button to move it faster like this okay now if you want to move this layer properly on horizontal but it is not possible okay so for that just press shift on your keyboard and as you can see now i can move my layer horizontally very nicely so you can use your shift to move horizontally in a proper manner. So guys, next I am showing you the auto select. On the top of this layer, you can see a auto select option. It automatically select a group of layer by clicking on a visible pixel. For example, I am just enabling this auto select option. So if I want to move this Photoshop text, then I just move to my mouse pointer over here and I can move that Photoshop text same as if i want to move this text just put my mouse pointer here and after clicking it start moving but if my auto select option is off and now if i want to move my photoshop layer then it's not possible because my selected layer is for absolute beginners this is my text layer which is selected that's why only this layer can be moved so if i am select this auto select then whenever i move my mouse pointer to any object it will be moved like this so guys next we are going to see this layer and group so right now my auto select only moving the layers from the layer panel now if i want only to move a group then just select a group over here and whenever i am moving the wall group is moving automatically i just need to move my mouse pointer on particular group and it will be moving so from here you can change a group or a layer okay now next is show transform control so guys as you can see whenever i'm click any of the layer that bounding box around that layer is coming okay this is called a show transform control so whenever this show transform control is enabled this bounding box around the text box is come or any of this layer so if i am turn it off then the bounding box around that layer is gone so guys, like this, you can use a move tool in different way. Now friends, the important thing is that you can activate the move tool when another tool is already selected. For example, right now I am selecting this eyedropper tool and now I have to move this text. So what I am doing, I am just pressing control from my keyboard and I can move this text. So as you can see, right now my icon is eyedropper tool and whenever I am pressing control, it will automatically convert into the move tool. So like this, you can activate your move tool anytime you want. So guys, for the Windows operating system, you can use a control and in the Mac operating system, you can use a command key. So friends, now I am showing you one more tip where if you want to select a particular layer, then you no need to find in your uh, layer panel what you are doing you are just right click on particular text or particular layer and you can see this name 
like here you can see a move tool as well as background and others layer so i know that i want to select my move tool so if i'm selecting this move tool then automatically this move tool is selected here as well as in my layer panel so this is very advantage while you are working in a big adobe photoshop project now friends one more thing you need to know that if your layer is locked then you cannot activate your move tool or you can't move that particular layer for example this move tool text i'm selecting this move tool text right now i can move this because it is unlocked for example it is locked i am just locked this layer now if i want to move this as you can see i am not able to move okay i am not able to select this layer because it is locked so for that first i have to unlock this layer so right now i am unlocking this layer and now you can see i can easily move this particular layer so you make sure your layer is unlocked before you are moving it so friends that's all for the move tool so the move tool can be used to move any part of your image according to your requirement as long as it has more than one layer and it is unlocked also when another tool is selected holding a command in a mac operating system and a control in a window operating system for temporarily accessing the move tool which is another advantage of knowing a shortcut in adobe photoshop so thank you so much guys see you in the next video